So obviously more DC Fandom stuff and we're going to react to not only the Suicide Squad World Call but the exclusive sneak peek 2 in 1. So without a doubt let's get into into it. Before I again social media links on the description box down below. Hit the subscribe button and the bell get notified so you won't miss videos like this. Especially movie reviews, TV show reviews and all that. And with that being said. Let's get into it. But before I do, I am one of the few people who actually liked the 2016 Suicide Squad. But when I heard James Gunn was coming on to do this, I got excited. However, I'm still a bit disappointed that we don't have no Will Smith as Deadshot or no Karen Fukuhawa as um, Katana. But let's see how it is. We're going to react to the Royal Call first. Suicide Squad World you know Call. The deal. Successfully complete the mission, you get 10 years off your sentence. Amanda Waller. Joel Kinnaman. These are your brothers and sisters for the next few days. Rick Flair. Michael Rooker. Savon. Lula Borg. Javelin. Javelin. Harley! Mother Rocky. Polka Dot Man. David Dothmarsian. He's gonna be in June. That's what was coming out next week, by the way, after. Daniela Messior. Rocky and Two. Idris Elba. Blood Sport. So it's not this side. Clean Shark. Mylin NG as Mongol. Peter Capaldi. Thinker. Alice Blaza. Saul Soria. Pete Davidson. Okay. Blackguard. Necrophilia. Sean Gunn. Weasel. Guy Courtney is Captain Boomerang. Jennifer Holland. John Cena. He just followed me on Twitter a few days ago too. It's Peacemaker. Okay. Written and directed by James Gunn. Yes. 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 That is a hell of a roll call. Now, let's see what this official fandom sneak peek has to offer. Just uploaded 48 minutes ago, oh, 52 minutes ago at 222,000 views. Let's watch it and let's see how I think. Warner Media, Warner Border. Because DC. They and go, How did they do that? It's going to be different from any superhero James movie Gunn. ever made. James Gunn is about to make another one of the best superhero movies of all time again. We're going to the Galaxy no Volume One and Two. World to direct Plus, the his girlfriend squad. is in it. Then James Gunn. also an actress. Jennifer I was Holland. excited with an opportunity to be able to do the Suicide Squad in the way it could be done from my point of view. This one is completely unique. This is a gritty 1970s war Hell yeah. combined it's with the brilliance it's, yeah, it's of James gonna be R-rated. comedy. You need your director to set the vibe. The Suicide Squad is just a twisted I do miss, fantasy. I feel very much miss Will Smith and Kenneth Fukuhara. With the most of Will Smith, them, some of them are sure just came pretty back crappy through and through. You the missed out on opportunity, Will. America. Not the guy who believes him, in peace at any cost, no matter how many people he needs to kill along the way. Okay, John Cena. Don't ever settle back like you think you and know where this is going. Nine, you don't. As soon as you have some sense about what's oh. about to happen next, James comes in. No! Everyone is exploding. Genitals, heads, arms, legs. It's like a big, massive graphic novel brought to life. And after this, James Gunn is going to hit with us again with Guardians of the made. Galaxy Volume 3. The, the third movie in his Guardians trilogy. Don't get too attached. 
This has been truly the greatest, oh my God. most exciting journey of my this life. Making this Holy crap! Cut. That was great. So, the roll call and this, from the sneak peek and the roll call, I can tell that this is going to be better than the air version. I'm not, I'm not going to, I do like the version that we got from 2016, but that movie did have a lot of studio interference, and plus, you don't let people who cut trailers cut your movie. So I am hoping with HBO Max with the original Suicide Squad, we do get the air cut at some point. But as for this Suicide Squad, I am on board. So to tell me in the comments down below what you guys think of this. I'll catch you guys for more DC fandom and more reviews. Join the Epitaphonist and you guys keep it cool. I love you guys. This is a great...